Hi, I'm Bill Ritchie, and I'm going to test press number 43. Every time I make a half wood press, I test it before I send it out. This press goes to an artist in Georgia. He sent me uh, a sample of his drawing, which I transferred to this copper plate to make his test plate. I'm going to put a few finishing touches on it with dry point and a few little additions, and then I'm going to print it. I start my dry point by making some little scratches. Now I've seen what it looks like from a proof that I made earlier. This is the first trial proof. And I can see that it's awfully, it's the same. There's too much monotone here. So I want to go back and darken some areas and then I'll print it as a test proof. While I work, I'll rub a little black ink into it to see how my progress is going. Just take a little bit of this black etching ink out and just rub it in with my finger and then I'll wipe it off with some collagen, just as if I were going to print it. If I want to bar darken the area in here where the hair lines are, I just scratch it with dry point. Now this, the, 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 I began by transferring a laser print from the artist's original uh, onto the copper and then I etched it with ferric chloride just to get it started so I could see the image. And then I put a hard ground over that and went in and, and etched some more lines in. So it's a constant process of adding and changing as I go. So perhaps you can see already that that area is darker. This is a printing demonstration, not a plate making demonstration, but I wanted to give you an idea as to how I got started. Okay, I've been working on it for quite a while now um, with scrapers and burnishers and a little roulette work and it's, uh, I think it's ready to prove. And spread the ink on with a little cardboard, little mat board chip. And I have this little sticky pad, which is that non-skid kind of plastic you buy in hard or kitchen supply stores to keep it from sliding around while I go at it with the carlatan again. Follow the tarlatan wipe with the hand wipe. This is the part of your hand that you use when you're wiping a plate. Makes a good wiping surface. And then finally, a little talcum powder. In a pinch you can use baby powder for your talcum. That dries off the part of your hand you're using and helps it clean up the last of the tone on the plate gives you a better contrast and it's ready to print. Now that I have to get the press ready and I'm also going to use a little hot plate here. Plug it in and let it warm up while I'm getting my press ready. This is the new number 43 I'm testing before sending it off to its owner in Georgia. What I do first is lower the, the top roller down all the way and then back the roller off again counting backwards and keeping the roller even. These are eight ten half turns. It's an estimate. This is not it doesn't have to be terribly precise. The point is you need to raise the rollers high enough to start to press rollers over the blankets like that. Then tighten it back down. It's always debatable to how tight should you make it. I just like to make it as tight as it feels right. This comes with experience. Next I'll get my paper out this is Arsh paper, soaked it in water for five minutes, took it out, blotted it with newsprint, 
and then put it in a plastic bag. It's been sitting in there for probably about a day. An hour is sufficient, but it has to be soft. The whole point is it has to be soft. Paper always has two sides. I like to print on the side that's a little rough looking. Looks a little more natural. It'll fit in there just like that. Warm the plate. Oil based ink works better if the plate is warmed slightly. Not so hot that it bakes the ink into the plate. You wouldn't want that. Hot enough that the ink is warm and soft. You can feel the resistance when you first start and then when it comes to the plate you can really feel it feels a little soft to me so I'm going to tighten it up another quarter of a turn that feels a little bit better. I like to print slowly. It seems to me that the longer you exert the pressure, then the better the transfer is going to be. Now because the video is from that side, and it's kind of dramatic to pull the proof, I'm going to run it back through. You'll also get a better impression. The only drawback is that the plate being partly a dry point will wear out the more times you run it through the press. But for this test, for this video, I'll bring it back out so that you as a viewer can see how it looks. One more thing I do before I pull the proof is I put what I call a moment number. It's a little kind of secret code of mine giving the date, 2009, month of February, the 23rd day, and it is right now about 7.30, that being 19.30. So that's concludes the test for number 43. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. I'm Bill Ritchie. Goodbye.